Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be replacing the rotted transom on this 1984 Grady White center console. As you can see, the transom on this boat consists of marine plywood sandwiched between fiberglass laminations, and it's in pretty rough shape. Basically all of the wood is rotted, and it can no longer support an engine. Aside from the fiberglass being laminated to the plywood, it's also tied into the framing of the boat with additional sheets that we have to cut away. The plan is to score the fiberglass so it breaks away easily. Then we have to remove all the rotted wood and clean up the surface. Finally, we're going to epoxy a pair of 3 quarter inch marine plywood sheets to the inside of the hull. Here we go. Right here I pierced through the fiberglass and water started draining out. This whole bottom has been sitting waterlogged for years. Thank <laughs> you. 
This section was especially stubborn. I had to pry to delaminate both edges from the surrounding fiberglass. That's the bulk of it. Most of the wood is gone. Now all we have to do is clean up the edges and prep the surface.
Right here all we're doing is knocking down the corner on this piece of plywood. You never want to put a 90 degree edge into a corner. Thank <laughs> you. 
for the transom, I'm using a two-part epoxy from Fiberglass. It's the 2000 series. It's a three-to-one ratio between epoxy and hardener for a 60-minute pot life. I added silica filler because we're working on a vertical surface and we want to fill in some of the gaps. You do not want any of the silica dust in your lungs. This is 12 hours after setting up the epoxy. As you can see, the texture is still a little bit soft. It's not ready to be sanded until 36 hours. That, boys and girls, is why the router is the most dangerous tool I own. <laughs>